So we have paradise, but this is what we have to go through. Been here before, done it before, and we do it again. The spirit of Puerto Rico is strong. <laughs> Puerto Ricans, we proud. We're strong people. Our Puerto Rican brothers and sisters are American citizens. We're Americans, and we contribute a lot to the society. They have fought in every conflict. They have shed blood. They have died for our freedoms. Unless we come together as a massive force, they will suffer for a long time. It is morally incumbent upon us to help them. There are three and a half million people, Americans in Puerto Rico, that need our help. Puerto Ricans, Americans, we all the same. Yo soy Puerto Rico. Yo soy Puerto Rico. Yo soy Puerto Rico. Y yo soy Puerto Rico. Yo soy Puerto Rico. Yo soy Puerto Rico. Soy Puerto Rico. I'm also Puerto Rico. And I'm Puerto Rico. Almost two weeks later, and the news for so many in Puerto Rico is still not good. Days without water, fuel, food, and shelter have left these Americans in a state of desperation that's almost incomprehensible. Oftentimes, when we look at these kinds of stories, your attention is on the devastation that we can see, but hearts are as broken as this island nation is. Tonight, we bring you the people who call Puerto Rico and the Midlands home worst feeling in the world for a cop. Any first responders feel helpless. Most of our families in Puerto Rico. I have grandparents, cousins, aunts, everything. My whole family's in Puerto Rico. I had one cousin who thankfully got through on Facebook and it was one Facebook message on her wall that said, can't connect, but I'm here. And that meant the world to me. My island is suffering. My whole family. It's in Puerto Rico. But just understand that we're American citizens too, and we're just as human as anybody else. Hot as the fire in everyone's belly got for Texas and for Florida. We need that here for Puerto Rico as well. In times like this, in times of distress, we come together, and there's no doubt in my mind, even though I've not heard their voices physically, that um, they're pulling together whatever means that they have. They're sharing not only with family, but they're sharing with the community as well. I can't be there to help them out. And you know, I'm here helping out the citizens of Richland County every day, and I don't care. I'll give my life for them, but I can't even be home to take care of them. The night of the hurricane, my mom called me, and uh, three in the morning, she tried to put the phone so we can listen to the winds, and after that, I didn't hear from her in four days. It's not easy to receive a call, and um, hearing your sister say they need water while you take it for granted here. It's guilt-ridden because life goes on and we realize that life goes on but for us we're kind of in a time warp where everything has just stood still bills don't matter functions don't matter events don't matter what matters most is just hearing the voices of those that we haven't heard from as of yet you can imagine what it's like for a whole branch of your family to just be missing and you can't hear from them and i got nieces and nephews don't know if they're alive or dead i can't get a hold of a sister-in-law who's up in the mountains my parents are there I haven't heard. People have seen them in the town, and they told me, don't go yet, because you're not gonna get to your town. It's an hour and a half away from San Juan, where the Mac light is. But be sure, between the 7th and the 10th, I will be there. My job is to get them out, and then go back help the Puerto Rican people. If this message reaches Puerto Rico that we love you, we're here. Like I said, not, not trying to be the big softy here, but again, it hurts. You can't hide it. It is what it is, but we're pulling for you. Y la familia te quiero. Love you guys. Thank you, Fe. Manténgase unidos. Es tiempo de ser los patriotas que somos. Yo soy Puerto Rico. Que sigan pa'lante. No desmayen. Help is on the way. 